So the English translation is, is, is to give care. So it's um, gawa to give kalinga care. Um, and what I like to say, and they don't say here, is just so you understand the term, the give care, the best way I've learned to explain it, I, I just see this image of a mother holding her newborn child. That kind of love that the mother has for the child, that kind of care. That's what Gawa Kalinga means to us and, and, and what we want to mean to you. And that's the, when we mean to give care, that kind of care. And so the, the, the work is really anchored on that, caring and then sharing. Those are like our basic tenets. And that's why when you, you'll see this, and it's, a lot of it is really um, part of our Filipino culture. You know, you come to someone's house, they feed you, they, even if they don't even know you, or you're not, you're, everyone becomes your family. But, but one of the things we're challenging Filipinos to do is, okay, yeah, you have your inner family, maybe you have your second outer family. What we're challenging Filipinos to do is to go, people you don't even know that are back home, the people in these areas are your family, and, and, and get a care. And that's, that's the hardest thing that we have for most people because they'll say, well, I'm giving back to my, my sister, my aunt. And, well, we understand that. We don't ask you to stop doing it. Um, but it doesn't take much to help back home. And so um, one of the things we've kind of added, we used to have a lot of different slides about things, but to really know us, I'm just going to give you a few of our um, kind of core values. We wrote these in the U.S., um, again, just so we can connect. The, the Philippines has their own terms, and sometimes it doesn't translate well. So again, to give care, to share, to be open and honest. And so as we say that, this is what I, I, I encourage you as you work together, as in close teams. These are the things, the values that you want to have with each other. Um, to be forgiving. This is a, this is a funny uh, one because uh, Tita Gia, you were in the trip. What's that? They got tampo. What is it? What's it? Tampo. What? Tampo. 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 Explain it to me. Tampo. Well, you know, you you feel bad, maybe uh, a little something that somebody said, you know, and, but you don't want to say. You, you just kind of uh, withdraw or some sort like that. Yeah, we you don't want to say exactly what it is. They are very sensitive couple. people. Right. And, and so what happens is good relationship just separate and you don't know what happened, right? <laughs> and, and, and in our work, they'll be dumpful. Yeah. Why? Because we're doing events, we're passionate, and they'll be colliding. It's okay, though. And, and I, I learned this in a book I've read, uh, um, and some of you read it, you read... Uh, Seven Habits, Stephen Covey. Yeah. And, and one of the things they talk about synergy. And there's a, the last page, uh, chapters, chapter six, uh, synergy. And they talk about communication. And there's, there's one communication, there's the very low cooperation and low trust, and that is really defensive communication. You never want to be there. That's lose, win, win, win. But there's a middle ground where most people end up. But that's not good, too. The middle ground is what we call uh, respective communication. And it's comp you get compromised. Where you kind of middle, tr middle trust, middle cooperation. And, and the reason that's not good is because, you know, people, oh, I don't want to hurt your feelings, you know, oh, you know. But what happens is you don't get the best bad. ideas, right? Because you don't want to cause no friction, you know? Um, if you learn to cause a little friction, but for, to forgive and work so that you can get the best answer, you enter synergy. Okay, because now what you do is you get a little friction, but it goes to give you an answer that you wouldn't happen if you just do it was just a compromise. And, and they say if in numbers, the, the low side would be like one plus one equals zero. That's bad communication, no synergy. The compromise is one plus one is one and a half. Right? But synergy is one plus one equals eight. One plus one equals 16. And, that, and, what, and I say that is because in a group like this, you could move mountains really. If you synergize in a group this time, you could do a ball and raise $20,000. Uh, $20, because I've seen it in, I've seen it in Houston. I've seen it in, um, in the, the Hampton or uh, Miami. They raised like 20000 small group like in golf tournaments. Because they have synergy, you know, and they have these values of forgiving and such. So these core values, we've, it wasn't really to this year that we started to emphasize. We were acting on but we realized there were things stopping us. And it's because we had to settle, you know. And um, this one is be respectful, and this one is probably natural for us, because 
you know, in our culture, age, and probably, we, we just kind of line in that, you know, and um, inspirational. This, this one, this one is important because sometimes we come here, right, and Tita Tony will come, or Tita Boy, so we always say, oh, the inspiration, yeah, or, or, or I'll come, or here. No, all of you should be inspirational to each other. You, you know, it's not just from the founder or the visitors, Everyone in their words and their sense should be inspirational to each other. And lastly, this is important. Um, and this one we wrestle with a lot, is to be inclusive. Okay? Not exclusive, but inclusive. That's why you hear me say, you, you know, you'll have people, oh, that's a wonderful work. And, and they say, oh, you know, I have a project that's similar to that. You know? And you listen to them, and they have a great project. And that's great. And because it's inclusive, because we're all together doing the work to bring the Philippines out of poverty. And so that's it. You know, what the tendency happens as you get grow where you start to be, oh, the GK group, and we start to say, hey, you know, we're volunteers, you know. We, we have no, you know, people say, oh, Ben's the da da da. We try not, oh, no, roles, just volunteer. You'll even watch some of, like, Tito Tony always says, GK work. <laughs> because we, we're not inclusive, so we, that's because that's the culture we want to have with each other, you know. Because we've come with organizations of presidents and da da and, and such, and we just want to include everyone. And this one um, is the selfless and heroic acts. And, and, um, and that's all in the little things. This is a selfless act. You could be anywhere here. You could be shopping, you could be at a restaurant, you could be doing anything, you know but you chose to forget about yourself and, and, and come here. And, um, and those are important because it, it's those little acts of little selfless and heroic acts that, that compilate to really, really wonderful work everywhere in different areas. And um, there, there's a saying though, because um, sometimes, uh, and my wife, she laugh, but uh, sometimes we can really get away from us. I mean, you'll catch me midnight working past that and, She'll say, hey, I know you're being heroic. I says, but we already have enough dead heroes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we're not looking for you to be a dead hero. We're a hero for, for life. We have a lot of dead Filipino heroes. And they're great, but we don't need those anymore. We need us to be alive and do the work. And, and so it just is a reminder for us that, um, to care for ourselves too and our families, but also show that heroic value. So nation building, this, I would add this in just a short story, um, and I'm gonna, then I'm gonna show a video. Um, so we have these shirts, those are the ones, there's ones that, it, it, they have a words in the back, and they, you know, I have their printed, and so I, I had a journalist that was interviewing me um, after one of the typhoons, and they were, um, 